Hey guys, this is Kong, and back again. Today I'm gonna do a movie review called Moonlight. So basically, the the story of the gist of the of the movie is uh, it's about this kid uh, who uh, suffered you know, emotional trauma, uh, and uh, we follow him through his youth to his uh, adulthood, and that is the quit and nitty. Uh, Shortcut about the story. So today I'm just going to talk about the pro, the con, the, the moral, and suggestion. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the pro. So the pro, what did I like? I like the story. It's, uh, you know, we, it's about this boy. Uh, we follow him as a, a young child uh, throughout his, uh, his, you know, his, um, his, his growing up. As a young child, you know, we, we get to see him, how he was a, fra he's a fragile kid. He's, you know, he's really to keep to himself and throughout to a high school, he keep to, to himself. That sort of thing. It's really a simple story and we, we get to follow him. And I always like movies that we get to follow one main characters or, or two, you know, but I prefer one. And I like the, uh, the actor that played the, the role, you know, when he was a little when he was a little kid, you know, I like that he didn't really say much, but sometimes when you don't say much, do say a lot. So I hope you get what I'm saying by that. And I like the actor when he was in high school, he was very uh, to himself, he was very uh, quiet. And then as he was a, a young adult, he was very, uh, he was completely the opposite of what he was when he was. Um, you know, a young teenager when he was a child. So it's totally a reverse um, uh, of what he was and uh, became what he um, hated and didn't want it to be. And that was kind of interesting too, now that I think about it. And another thing I like about that is the, the human emotion that is involved. Uh, you know, our relationship to each other, you know, how his relationship with his mother at a young age she uh, didn't really, she almost hated him and she used him for money and for, uh, I would say, child, uh, su child su maybe child support from the, uh, the government. Um, she was just really using him, uh, not really taking care of him, being the good mother that she was. And so that, I thought that was really interesting. Um, uh, the uh, development the relationship and uh, it also shows that the reality of living in the hood or living in the ghetto where you know um, especially the uh, black family you know when you only have uh, a single mother raising the son and uh, and there's a story where the mother actually uh, do drugs and you know she became a drug uh, addict and you know she started became more abusive toward her son, so that was a uh, you know that that put a lot of uh, emotional trauma on our young know, our young our young actors in the story and young characters in the story, even throughout his uh, his teenage uh, years. So I thought that was a really traumatic, uh, a true uh, a true light of of this 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 movie. And uh, my one of my favorite scene would be the uh, the mother and her, uh, and her son. Uh, he had gone back to uh, his hometown to visit his one of his friends and to visit his mother. And his mother apologized to him for um, not being there for him, treating him bad. She wasn't a good mother, and she apologized. She uh, she loved him even though he doesn't love her, and I thought that was a really uh, emotional scene. I thought that was really really great because uh, it showed that it showed us that she's a human. She she realized and she understood the mistake of her past, her action, and she was willing. She was brave enough to come forward and apologize and understand that what she did was wrong. And I felt that was just a, a really uh, a precious moment, you know, a really memorable moment between the two characters, even for me too. Those are the, the pros of this movie. The con of this movie was uh, maybe just me, but 
I think it was like maybe I would say two thirds in the movie. We stop seeing the adopted father, you know, the, the guy who uh, found him. He was actually a drug dealer, but who found him and so who sort of uh, showed in the past. But we really get to see him, you know. He just sort of like disappeared. Did he went to jail? Did he? Uh, did we just assume that, you know? Because most drug dealers end up going to jail. I just kind of wish they would have show or convey something that his adopted father went to jail or went away or something like that, you know. So that's kind of the con, you know. I didn't really like understood what's going on. And then another scene was there was this uh this scene with him and this another a friend of him uh, a close friend they were starting kissing and then um, he they they um, engaged in sexual activity let's just say that um, to me I it didn't sort of I didn't sort of um, you know ring a bell not ring a bell but sort of uh, convinced me it didn't sort of uh, sell it to me I just didn't really understood because you know I just all I understand in the movie was he was uh, he was uh, traumatized, you know, by his mother, by the, the people that surround him, and uh, and he gets some kind of sort of sort of sexual relief. I just didn't really, I didn't really understand the or make the connection between the two, you know. Uh, you know, I understood if he would have went to swim or did some drug and get some relief, but like it was a sexual activity. I just did quite um, connect the dot, so to speak. So that was kind of like, you know, it left uh, left a little blank there for me. So what is the moral of the story? The moral is basically is uh, uh, we as human we uh, in in. We are in relationship to one another, and the action that we do affect the others, and the other person, their action affect upon to us, and it create uh, a good a good experience or a bad experience, so called drama, uh, traumatized to uh, to each other. So that's the, the the thing about this movie is that how we treat each other is how we we affect each other. And that's like, especially parents, you know, when you're not there for your kid, you are psychologically uh, affecting your kid's life. And, uh, you know, their, their growth, their confidence, their uh, personality, the kind of person they are. I thought that was just a really great convey of, of, of that, you know, a relationship to each other. And uh, so, like I said, you know, a parent, parent needs to be there for their kid, despite of the, the hardship that's happening in the household. That they need to be there for the kid. They need to be supportive, and uh, show love and show compassion. And uh, also uh, another thing that this this movie really points out is that bully is uh, not good. It's bad. Uh, we should try to promote, uh, uh, prevent bully from happening. Like uh, this kid, um, our main character get get bullied by others, and um, it got to a point where he was like he had enough. Of it, he was he exploded, and he went to school, and then he grabbed a chair, and it just it hit the kid with it. I was just like, damn, holy shit, he went berserk, and I was just glad that he didn't bring a gun to school and start shooting up. You know that was even worse. You know because nowadays, you know when they when you hear about school getting sh sh uh, shot up, it's there was a kid who got bullied and he got to a breaking point where he couldn't take it anymore and he wanted to take it out. And I was just so glad that our main character is conscious enough was or was uh he didn't get to that point where he would took it to the extreme. So I was just like so glad that our main character didn't get uh, arrested or put in prison. I was just happy that he just did that and got arrested of course and he moved away. So the moral, of the, that is the moral of the story. It's a lot of point to, to be taken from this movie. Suggestion would be to show him this, uh, show him selling drugs when he left his hometown, and even also I would like to see him, his adoptive father, really show him the, the uh, the basic, uh, 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 you know, rope 
or being a drug dealer or selling drugs on the street. That sort of thing, you know. That's what I wanted to see. And also, I would like to see uh, him. Um, for me, is I wanted him to. I I want to see something where he he realized that he became what he he hated it. He became what he didn't want to, and he now going back to uh, to a different person. He turned a new leaf. Um, we didn't quite get to see that. We got to see where he engaged in this sexual activity to relieve of his uh, trauma. You know, I just felt like it wasn't a a good ending. It, it felt like it was uh, sh uh, didn't really do the character uh, great. That's how I feel. They should have done something that was uh, at least showing him that he was turning a new leaf, that he recognized the 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 the, the wrong path that he was on. So. Well, guys, I like. I'm gonna give the score a seven out of ten. It is uh, a good movie. Um, I I would recommend it, not highly recommend it. I would recommend it to watch it. It is a limited release, so you're gonna have to search for theater that will will uh, you know screen this movie for you to watch. So you gotta. That's one note about it. And uh, this to this gonna end the the, the, the movie review. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching my, thank you for your time and effort to watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys.